crew. So yesterday we talked about the word attribute. You wrote it down in your notebook. Turn to where we wrote down the word attribute in our math notebook. Gwen, what is an attribute? Yeah, the rules of a shape. Holy moly, why is my marker not writing today? Attribute. The rules of a shape. And we wrote some examples. What were some examples that we wrote down? Well, yeah, talking about the line, whether they are straight or curved, that could be an attribute. The name, if we know the name, that could be an attribute. Um, Shelby? If they have diagonal lines, sure. Michael? So we are looking at corners. The number, of corners. the number of corners. Any other attributes? You're going to have to wait. Comes out. When? You got all the ones you got? Yeah. Okay. So what we're going to do is I'm going to give you back a bag. It might be the same bag. It might not be. And I want you to sort them again. Doesn't have to be in the same piles. Maybe we start thinking of some different ways to sort them. We're not going to sort them all the way because I know there's a lot. But try to just get as many different piles as we can going. Okay? As soon as you get your bag, go ahead and start sorting with your table mate. You may or may not have finished. That's okay. Stop throwing hands off. Hands off the um, shapes. What were some categories or some attributes that you sorted by? What were the names of your piles that you were trying to categorize these shapes? Sean, give me one. Just grade them and say like how many lines they have. Okay, so did you have one that had like three lines? Yeah, and then we have one that had like one line. Oh, okay. So Sean was Sean and Bella were paying attention to whether it was a straight line or a curved line, and then they only counted the straight lines. Give me a two signal if you counted straight lines as one of your piles. Nice, nice. Lincoln, what was the name of one of your piles? Um, this is like how they look. Okay, what do you mean by that? Like, if they look alike, then they're probably in the same group. Okay, so how did you decide if something looked alike? Like, if something was smaller than the other? Okay, so if it was a big shape or a small shape? Is that what you're saying? Yeah. Okay. Michael? Um, the number of corners. The number of corners. Anyone else count number of corners? Can we tell you the name of some of my files? Nope, not right yet. Mason, what did you sort by? Um, we just sorted by, like... Okay, so you have a pile of all the same shapes? Like what? Like um, like triangles. So like a triangle. Okay, so similar to Sean, you had all triangles in one pile. Did anyone else make a pile of triangles? Oh, okay. So Gwen said that th we have a pile of three corners, which is mostly triangles, but not all of them in there are triangles. Because it's three corners. Mm -hmm. Well, oh, we took a green side. Oh, you made a pile of curved sides? Nice. Nice. Like, you're going to have to have a friend out. All right, we are going to look specifically at one section of shape. You might have already sorted this pile. If not, that's okay. I want you to pull out the shapes that only have four sides. I am calling a side a side if it is a straight line. So do not count sides that are wavy or curved. I want only the straight sides, and I want four of them. Put all the other shapes, 
back in the bag. So the only shapes on your table have four sides. So I heard one group trying to think about a line that looked like this. Is that line straight? Yes. Uh, not really. No. Most yes. No. No. Like on the shape. Yeah. 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 It is straight. Even if it is going sideways or diagonal, that is still a straight line. When I mean curved, I mean lines that look like this. So we are not doing curved. We are doing straight lines. Jackson? I I know two things. Okay. Um, the lines. Okay. What about the lines? Um, how many lines there are? How many lines are there? And how many points are there? Corner. Okay. So all of those shapes have how many lines, Jackson? Four. 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 And all of those shapes have how many corners? Four. 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 There's one more thing they have in common. Ooh, I know what Look for it. I Look for it. There's one more thing they have in common. Brayden, you think you know? Yeah. What is it? They all form the line rules. So that's the name of them, but that's not an attribute. I want one more thing that they have in common. Mason, you think you know? They're all different. Nope, that's not something they have in common if they're all different. Okay. I know. No, thank you. Harper? They all have straight sides. They all have straight sides. Turn to the next blank page in your math notebook, please, Lincoln. You may go. You were first. Turn the next blank page. Your title is What is a quadrilateral? What is a quadrilateral? There is a prefix quad Q U A D that we're going to be paying attention to. Quad means four. Quad means four. Some prefixes actually mean a number. Like, for instance, I'm sure you've heard of a tricycle. How many wheels on a tricycle? Three. On a tricycle. Three. Well, three. How many sides on a triangle? Three. Three. How many angles on a triangle? Angles or corners? Weird! It's because that prefix tri. We're talking about quad. Quadrilateral means four. Which means how many sides are probably in a quadrilateral? Four. How many corners do you think are in a quadrilateral? Four. Exactly. A quadrilateral is any shape with straight sides. That's why we got rid of all the curved sides already. We're looking at only straight sides. We're writing later. You may go now, Jackson. Shelby? Four square corners. Nope, not four square corners. But we have four sides. And four corners. Those are the attributes, Mason, you're writing, or the rules to be a quadrilateral. Once you have written those rules down, I want you to try and draw some of those quadrilateral examples that you guys have spread out on your desk. You can pick any one. So maybe you drew a shape that looks like this. Did anyone draw that shape? Yeah. yeah. Um, I thought that shape already had a name. So if that shape already has a name, why are we giving it a new name? Will, what are your thoughts on that? Because I thought that shape already had it. It's because um, you um, it's it's not a um quadrilateral is not a name. It's just a group of um shapes. No, quadrilateral is a name. It's the name of that shape. Um, but it already had a name. Michael, what do you think? Um. Um. 
it's because quadrilateral is like a category. Okay. And then if if they if none of the shapes in quadrilateral had a category, then it would all I mean had a name, then every shape that every shape you just be like, Oh, that's a quadrilateral. They would have certain names. Okay, you're on the right track. Brayden, what are your thoughts? Um if every shape is four sides is called a quadrilateral. Every shape with four sides is called a quadrilateral. But like if that's what we call it instead it of like like a square and like it would be hard to remember, like, oh, um this is quadrilateral. But we get a new name, so we can easily remember like what it looks like. Almost, I shouldn't say all. We'll go with sure. almost all. Almost all shapes have more than one name. It's kind of like a nickname. How many of you have nicknames? Raise your hand for the nickname. So I said raise your hand, not make a noise, please. This shape is called a quadrilateral. Just like I could call Will Hay third grade. That's still correct. That's still correct. But it's not the best name. It's not the most specific name, which is I think what Will and not Will. Michael and Brayden were trying to get at is, yeah, it's a quadrilateral. I'll put it on my desk. Yes, it's a quadrilateral, but that could be so many things that I don't really know. So the best name for this shape, I think we would agree, is square. But a name is quadrilateral. That's still correct. Calling that a quadrilateral is still correct. It's just not the best name. I could say you. That's still a name. But I could be talking about anybody. It's not the most specific name. If I want to be specific, the best name would be Harper. Do you see what I'm saying? Harper, what are your thoughts? Oh, you forgot. Okay. How many of you drew this? Shape. 
Is that a quadrilateral? Yes. Yes. Is quadrilateral the best name? Raise your hand to tell me. Is quadrilateral the best name? Lincoln? Uh, I forgot. You forgot? Oh, rectangle. Oh, rectangle. Is rectangle the best name? Yes. yes, more specific. We know exactly what we're thinking about. So the best name is rectangle. But we could call it a quadrilateral, and that would not be incorrect. It just wouldn't be the best name for it. So we'll notice that some of these shapes have the same length. All those sides have the same length. And then, like, in the case of a rectangle, only two sides are the same length. Did anyone get this shape? Because that one has sides that are the same length. It's just tricky because our corners look a little different. Michael, did you find any others? Um, no, but I noticed. Okay, what did you notice? Um, no. They're all quadrilaterals, so like, if you look at like these shapes, they look a lot different. They do look a lot different. You know what makes them so different? So Michael said the shapes that look like this, and the shape that looks like, whoops, that was not a good example. This, this probably better look a lot different. And that's because they are missing one key thing. So the lines that we're paying attention to right now that we'll notice, and that Shelby noticed, have something in common. If you need to make a subtitle, you can. And we're gonna be looking at what's called parallel sides. Parallel sides. So that is your new title or your subtitle, please. There is something called a parallelogram, which is probably going to have some parallel sides, huh? So let's talk about this word parallel, because we do know what sides are, but we might not know what that word parallel means. Parallel means that there are two lines that are two lines there are two lines that will never ever touch they will forever run directly side by side. So for example, the equal sign, you've seen that, right? That is an example of parallel lines. If those lines went on forever and ever and ever and ever and ever and ever and ever and ever, they would never touch. Does that make sense? I know. All right, so let's do some examples of parallel with our arms. Let's make an equal sign with our arms. This is parallel. This is parallel. This is not parallel. Your arms are straight as they can be. This is not parallel because watch. If my lines keep going and going and going and going, what happens? They touch. they touch. That means they are not parallel. Even though they're not touching right now, they will touch. What about this? Yes. Yes. What about this? No. They will touch. What about this? Yes. This. Yes. Yes. This. Yes. Are you sure? No. Yes. Yes. Oh, no. Oh, well, this one's not bad. It goes any direction, straight, forward, or down. If it touches, it will touch. Oh, you have to think of every single direction. You have to think of it going off both sides. Yes. So think of this line going that way and that way. It's a laugh. Think of this line going that way and that way. 
And if they go on those directions forever and ever, are they going to touch? Show me an example of parallel lines with your arms. Give me an example of parallel lines with your arms. Show me another example of parallel lines with your arms. Brandon's or Blaine was not parallel lines. Show me not parallel lines. You guys are like this. You guys are like this. You guys are like this. We'll run into each other. Show me parallel lines. Show me diagonal parallel lines. Oh, it's kind of like Tommy's head. It'll work. Those aren't parallel. Show me they're going to touch. They're on the wall. All Yes. Oh. So some of our shapes have parallel sides. Get a shape in front of you. It might be easiest if you used your hands. And I'm going to put them on opposite sides. And see, are they parallel? Would they eventually touch if I kept going either forwards or backwards? So Harper's got it. She's got her hands on opposite sides, and they're going like this. That tells me they're not parallel. Get some shapes in front of you. Put them on opposite sides, and see, are they parallel? So we might have shapes like this. No. That shape, this shape that I've drawn, will have parallel sides. Parallel right here to here. Those sides are parallel. If they kept going forever and ever, they would never touch. What about this shape? No. Are there any parallel sides on that shape? No. Yes. 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 Where? Raise your hand to tell me. Raise your hand to tell me. Jackson? Not the sides. The sides will run into each other. It's like a mountain. You go up. No. The top and the bottom are actually parallel. Not the same size. They do not have to be the same size. Did you hear Gwen's thought? Gwen said, hey, those lines are not the same size. That's okay. We're writing this part down. Get your pencil ready. Parallel sides do not need to be the same length. It makes it easier if they are, but they don't have to be. And we saw that example in that shape that I put the blue squiggles on. Those parallel sides are not the same length. The top one is way smaller than the bottom, but they are parallel. So Harper gave a great example of parallel lines in real life. If you pay attention to a road the next time that you're in a car, the yellow dotted line. Nope. Are they dotted? Yeah. Are they yellow? They're not the yellow dotted line. They're like yellow still line. Line. The dashed line and the solid line run parallel. They don't ever cross. They run side by side um, forever. And the actual, ever. Like, actual dots, like they can go up and down. Right? What if they just did this? Okay. So we can make a special quadrilateral. That special quadrilateral is called a parallelogram. What do you think is going to be special about that quadrilateral based on its parallelogram? What do you think might be special about it? What? It's going to have some parallel sides. Go ahead and make parallelogram the title of your next blank page please michael it's going to be a parallelogram and it, they won't touch but it's also going to be a quadrilateral because they'll like have four corners exactly so the rules of a parallelogram it must have straight sides first and foremost jacob sit up go ahead and sit up we're writing it must have four sides and four corners. 
Hey, those rules sound familiar. Well, in Georgia Sean was the little girl. Quadrilateral. Quadrilateral. That means that these parallelograms can also be called quadrilateral. Lots of names for these shapes. But the last thing that makes them a special quadrilateral, not just any quadrilateral, is they must have two sets of parallel sides. Two sets. So that would be two. So two and two. So all four will be parallel. Have a parallel partner. Because I have something to do this. Yes, because you have to have one side. Hang on to that thought, Sean. Lincoln, do you have this written down? I'm glad you found them, but let's get our notes down too. We're going to list some examples. I know Sean showed me one. It looks like this shape. There's our first set of parallel lines. And then it even had some diagonal sets of parallel lines. It's a great example. Two sets. So in this case, the top and bottom is one set. There's one set of parallel sides. And then the sides are parallel sides. I want a square to be a parallelogram. This side doesn't touch, this side doesn't touch, this side. This side doesn't touch, this side, this side doesn't touch, this side. So Sean noticed, hey, I'm noticing a shape that we already talked about, a square, also meets those rules. It has two sets. Here's one set, top and bottom. Those will never, ever touch. They're parallel, make some more writing. And then we have the sides. So, Sean, does that mean that I can call a square a parallelogram? Yes. Yeah. I can also call a rectangle a parallelogram. Is it the best name, though? No. 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 I cannot call a trapezoid a parallelogram. Oh, wait. Because there's. They always do it in touch. What's a trapezoid? Michael, we'll talk about it, don't worry about it. Um, so, I have a question. Yes. Does, so like, say if you take the blue lines for the mm -hmm. first one, mm -hmm. it can only be like the side line and the other side line yes. moving up, and the other two can't go. What if like, um, exactly. what if the green line moves that way, and then the blue line goes up, and then the green line comes back, and then it goes down? So, so the green line and the blue line aren't parallel because they run into each other. Only the two blue lines are parallel. Does that kind of make sense? Yeah. So we're only looking at the partners, not all four all together. Gwen? Um, on a diamond, um, the sides that are like this and the ones that are like that, 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 would, make, that would make it a parallel. Can I tell you a secret? Diamond? Yeah, it's like a rhombus. It's not a rhombus. It's a rhombus. It's just a diamond. See? Look. Yeah. I knew that. It's a rhombus. It's not a rhombus. It's a rectangle, actually. It's kind of like that. It's kind of like that. Like 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 it it, it, it could wrong. be shaped like a rhombus. It's that shape right there. It could be shaped like a parallelogram. It's like that. But a diamond itself is not actually a mathematical shape. Uh, All right. All right.